Hi, yeah. friends. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. We have another awesome hair tutorial for you guys. Show them your hair wheels. Isn't it pretty? This is an inside out fishtail halo is what we're gonna name this guy. Isn't it really pretty? Oh, I love how it turned out. That's a name. Halo, like a little angel. Halo. Or what about a crown? Fishtail crown? Inside out fishtail crown? Do you like halo or crown better? This, um, like, Princess crown. Princess crown. Okay, we're gonna call this the inside out fishtail princess crown, named by Willow. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's really easy. And the best part of all is there aren't a lot of parts. You just kind of continue along and work around the head. It's okay if it gets messy because it looks better when it's messy, right? So we hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the video. So first step, of course, is to make sure the hair is combed out entirely. Then you'll want to do a center part, and on one side we're going to part down from the ear. Now we're going to take a little section from behind the ear, and if your little one wants to cooperate, or whomever you're doing this on, even if you're doing it on yourself, it makes it a little easier to tilt your head off to one shoulder. Willow kind of struggled with this one, but that's okay. Now we're just going to split our first section into two pieces, and we will begin our inside out fishtail braid. So this braid starts out like a basic fishtail. You're just taking pieces and passing them underneath, crisscrossing like an X. Only on the third pickup, you are going to add a little bit of hair to the piece you are passing under. And you'll just repeat that same step and begin to work your way around the head. Now one thing to keep in mind is the beginning of this braid doesn't really look like much. It doesn't have a lot of detail to it. It's once you get a lot of hair added to it that it's really gonna pop. So be patient and keep in mind that the extra length that wraps around the head will cover that and bring the detail together. So I just had Willow kind of maneuver around in the chair as I worked my way around her head, but it actually does work a lot easier if you rotate around the person whose hair you are doing. So I'm just grabbing hair from the center of her head and French braiding it into our fishtail. So for this back section, you're just gonna kinda angle the braid straight across, and once you get to the side of the head, you're gonna start to lift up towards the ear. So here I am having Willow rotate around so that I have the right angles. So at this point, the fishtail is finally starting to take shape. That's why I like to start this hairdo off behind the ear because the beginning of this braid is not so pretty and it will be covered up by that beautiful length that we will pancake out later on and it'll look so nice and full you won't even know what's underneath. So now we have worked our way towards the side of the head and you will begin lifting up on the braid so the tension is being pulled towards the forehead because we are gonna want this braid to begin to sweep over the ear and around the hairline. So once you get to the ear, you will either want to change position or rotate whomever's hair you are doing. And I just had Willow turn towards me now so that the tension can easily be pulled forward and our braid will begin to sweep around.
Now that we have brought the braid in the direction of the forehead, we are going to begin to pull the tension so that the braid will start to sweep over the front of the head. So now I'm going to rotate Willow so that her shoulder is facing me and I'm going to pull the direction of the braid towards the ear. Now that we have made it to the temple, we are going to pause and pancake out our fishtail braid, getting it as full as we possibly can. This is my favorite part of any braided do. So what I'm doing here is grabbing from the center and lightly tugging to create this beautiful fuller looking fishtail braid. And now I'm just going to continue on pulling the tension of the braid in a downward direction towards where we first started our braid so that everything naturally swoops around. Now that we are done French braiding in the pieces to our fishtail, we are going to pancake out the rest of the braid and then continue braiding down the length. So you'll want to braid down as far as you can, being sure to get as much of the ends in as you possibly can because we will be kind of tucking those away into the braid. Now we're going to sweep the braid across so that it flows with the French braided portion and we're going to take bobby pins and we're just going to secure it into place.
Lastly, we're just gonna take those ends and just kinda stuff them in, hiding them underneath our braid. Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comment box below. And we will get back to you. If you have any suggestions, also be sure to let us know. We would love to do a hairstyle for you. I think coming up next, we're going to do a really fun braided updo for homecoming because I know homecoming is coming up soon. So anyways, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have not done so already, <gasps> Be sure to subscribe! Yay! I don't know why I'm pointing at you in this video. I don't know why. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm pointing again. Why are we pointing so much? I don't really know because, like... Bye! You're supposed to do it because <laughs> you need to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. That's why. That That's why I'm doing that. Button. Bye, guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.